here we have an accordion, more specifically a horizontal accordion. So the way the accordion functions is we want to drop down a text and then if we choose to drop down another one, it will kind of accordion and smush back the first one. So, um, you know, kind of no matter which one you choose, it's always going to have just one open. So let's go ahead and build this from scratch. So here you can kind of see our example and these ones are also going to be built out as their own canvases. So they're going to have, you know, a tab one, tab drop down, um, so on and so forth, except we're going to be setting custom click actions. So that way, once you're clicking another one, it is essentially dropping the others back down. So we're setting those to hide every single one that we create. So let's go ahead and get into the build. So first off, we want to create kind of our tab styles. So we're going to add a blank canvas, um, style this how you would, um, no matter what you want to do, some kind of tab. But generally, it's, you know, kind of you're going to want it in a tab format. So um, it's going to be like a container box. So this will be your first tab background and you'll want to go ahead and update these because we're going to be duplicating after we have the first one set up. So, and you can set these up no matter how, however you want. So the first one, let's go ahead and set to a color. Um, and for these ones, you can have an outline, which sometimes it does make it a little bit easier to kind of build your content, uh, but it's not necessary. All right, so this is going to be your tab title. All right, and I'm going to want an informational icon that shows them that they can drop that down as well. So just for the sake of my sanity for me duplicating this for the fourth time and then realizing that I did not customize my mobile, which has happened, not fun. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and customize my mobile quick. And just for the sake of demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you that these also have an outline. We're gonna build it just like we did for the demo. Okay, I'm going to make an icon that's going to be set to a dark and um, let's do a little plus. Shrink that down. And I want that to be center, center or center, right? And for the sake of speed, um, I'm going to build this one, customize it, kind of duplicate it, tweak it a couple times and then kind of speed through the rest. Okay, so we have our tab title, we have um, our icon right here. I want my tab title to be on top because um, I'm going to only link my tab title. So by only linking my tab title, I want this to be a higher, I want it to be taller, but I also want to center my text. So I'm just gonna go ahead and center my text. So no matter where they're clicking on this tab, um, they're going to hit I mean, unless they click on the sides, which who does that? It's just sacrilege. Anyways, I'm going to kind of center that. And then no matter where they're clicking on this tab, it's going to grab, you know, that text because that's the only place I'm going to put it. Um, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just make sure it's centered and then everything is centered on this tab. Okay. So now for looking perfect. Okay, so I am going to actually set this to, um, let's say my, my tab height is 55 and because I have a border, I want to set that to 54. So that way, um, when I have another tab under it, it's going to pick up the top border itself um, and it's going to give it kind of a better stacking so you don't see, you know, a thick line and then you have a bunch of thin lines in there. So we just want to kind of crop that bottom border off. Same for mobile. Okay. Okay. And now I, let's say I want to do four tabs. So I am going to kind of foreshadow and set up four click actions. And generally what I like to do is I like to 
set the hide canvases first so I don't have some kind of wonky um, show hide at the same time. So I will set canvas or you know the click action one, two, and three to hide canvas. Um, and these aren't going to have text put in just yet. So I want to show my answer canvas or my tab drop down canvas. I want to hide my other three tab drop down canvases. So this is going to be tab dash one. So that way when I duplicate it, it's going to kind of pull in those numbers for me. So it's just easy. Okay. So now I want to create a blank canvas and this is going to be my tab drop down dash one. Okay, so it's just kind of keeping it easy for us so that way when we're setting our click actions, we know exactly which one we're trying to pull. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this down. And this one, I want to have a white background. Copy the style. Kind of same. All right, so let me just go ahead and grab my text just because it's going to be easier than me just duplicating paragraph a thousand times. Okay, so this is going to be centered on this block or you can have an image right here, which is gorgeous. Um, kind of just depending on what you're planning on building inside this box, it just, you know, it's all up to you. So just for sake of example, let's go ahead and build that in. And this is also going to kind of determine um, how your mobile is set up. I'm just going to hide that. All right. Okay, so, you know, we have our tab background, our text, you know, anything we want them to kind of fill in. It's titled. Um, and then I'm also going to have this clip off the bottom border as well. Okay, so as you can tell, like obviously we're only going to be showcasing our tabs and not our drop down. So we want to make sure that this is set to hidden on start for both desktop and mobile. Um, so that way now when we click this, it will drop down our content. Okay, so this one is now going to have a click action and I'm going to show this canvas as drop down one. Now this part is a little bit kind of time consuming because um, we just need to kind of set up each one individually um, just because we can't kind of override it anywhere. Um, so now that I have these settings, um, it's dropping this down. I want to make a click action to have it um, take or to close out my drop down now. So actually what I'm going to do is I like to fudge it a little bit. So I'm going to make a rectangle and this is going to pick up this the color of my tab background. Actually, no, it's going to pick up the color of my icon. So I want this reversed and now I'm going to set a border and the border is going to pick up the tab icon or the tab background. Sorry, my cat strikes again. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to kind of, um, play around with the sizing, how I like it. Um, and then I am going to kind of set this to overlay my top tab. Okay, so I want it to have a little bit bigger. And once you do this once, it's kind of easier to duplicate um, once we're kind of replicating these blocks. So it's just going to be like that. Um, and I want to set this click action to hide this canvas. Okay. okay, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and test it. So now I want to drop down my tab. You can see that my contents dropped up or dropped down and my little icon. So once I click that, it goes away. And this is kind of just like personal preference, but you can just size that until you're happy with it. Um, and then once you're good to go. All right. Um, so now that we have kind of the layout built out for the tab titles and the tab drop downs, now we can start replicating the canvases to kind of build out our full accordion. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this tab drop down first. So that way we have 
all of our canvas titles for tab one so we can kind of just shuffle the text around. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate these four times. Okay, so now you can kind of see like these are going to be all of the tab drop downs. They have duplicated to dash two, dash three, dash four. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set these click actions for this tab. So that way when we duplicate it for tab two, three, so on, so forth, um, we can kind of get that text in that same time or the click action. So for this one, we're going to always have the bottom one drop down the canvas that we're doing the tab for. Sounds a little bit confusing. Let's go ahead and just do them though. So I want this one to hide because we're dropping down tab one. I want this to hide tab two, tab three, and tab four. And sometimes what I will do is I will do them in reverse order. Um, so that way it doesn't look as glitchy. So it will just look like this. So to start, you know, you'll have tab one, two, three, four, going from the bottom up. Okay, so now that we have our click action set for that one, um, let's go ahead and duplicate our tab four times. And this is a good place right here to kind of um, see how your colors are stacking up, see if you want to change anything, um, just so that way you know it, how it will look on the front end. So let's just go ahead and update some colors. And I am kind of winging it, so what have you. Okay, so I have a dark one. I'm gonna go ahead and just change those colors. Okay, so this is to start. Now um, now we're going to drag them in the, the correct positioning. So I want to make sure my tab drop down one is under tab one, two is under two, three is under three. So now you can kind of see that this is how it would look if everything was dropped down. Um, and then you'll just want to go ahead and go into each tab drop down and adjust you know, that color just so it matches, obviously, your style. Okay. Let me reverse that one. Oops. Okay. So now the um, drop downs are looking good. Now we want to go ahead and just set those click actions for each tab. So now I want this to only show drop down two. So then, you know, this one will be drop down one. So it's going to hide four, it's gonna hide three, it's gonna hide one, and then it's going to show two. So you just kind of keep going down the list. So this one is going to show three. So now I want it to hide, you know, two and one. And you don't have to adjust these every time. It's just something I like to do. Um, and then this one is going to kind of be reversed. So I'm going to show one. That means I'm going to hide one drop down, two drop down, and three drop down. Okay, so now those should all be set up properly. Let's go ahead and give it a test. So now when I'm clicking that one, it's dropping down one. And now it should be dropping them down. Okay, so now you can see that once we got to the bottom, um, first of all, I don't have enough room to kind of scroll and properly see the text centered. So what I like to do is I will come in and I will make a bumper. Let's see, I'm gonna add a blank canvas. And so this will also have a line in it to kind of make up for this line that we've cut out. So, Let's see, our content is 1074. So let's go ahead and just kind of make a border that looks exactly the same. Oops, let's use a line. Okay, it's gonna be one and I'm going to have that set to the same width as, oops, same width as my content. Okay, so you'll wanna obviously do this over here too. For the sake of speed, I'm not being as picky about it, but you'll want to. 
And then this is going to be set at zero. So now it will kind of make up for that bottom border that we cut off. And if we didn't have, um, just to show you an example, if we didn't have that one, you would kind of see that it closes that bottom border. So then when we drop it down, um, it's also keeping that border ratio. And there you have it.